Alright guys, welcome back to Parking Meter Baboon, you're here with Jack. We just got DuckTales Remastered, it just got released today. Thought I'd give it a crack, see what we can get at least, you know, knock it out. I remember playing this one when I was a kid. It was hard then. I still finished it, but... Still hard. Cuss me, Hilt. Me money bin alarm. Quick, Duckworth, get the limo. I shall, uh, <clears throat> get her in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth, hurry! The pedal is to the middle, Mr. McDuck. Sounds like Scrooge's same voice. I don't think it is, oh, but... Not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Oh, let's... What have we got here, Pogo Stick? Man. Does it change... Yeah. Does it change the story a little bit? It looks like it's not like, you know, the whole planet and Aztec. I don't know if it comes in later. There's so much money. One thing about this game that was always all over the place was money. All the diamonds that equal money. Oh, Huey, are you all right, my boy? Yeah, but you better watch out. The Beagle Boys mess with your security system. <laughs> yeah, we take over the whole place. Yeah, <laughs> me money. Yeah. So at least they look like they haven't added anything. Ah, oh, well, there's no attacks. Sounds the same. Now that's what I call a stomachache. You were hit on the head, you moronic marauder. Thanks, Uncle Scrooge. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? We? Sure. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Louie yeah, so I thought I'll, I'll do this in the middle of Metal Gear Rising. I've still got a few videos to come out. I've just been releasing here and there, so should be good. A little break. Grab some other attention. Can break anything in this, so a bit of fun. I'll jump around a little bit, because you know how they always fall out everywhere. So... I'll see if there's anything here. Nope. At least it's still fun. We got here. Chest. Oh, nice. One thing about this here, they just come from the sky. I'll kill you before you hit me. Yeah, this is one of the games I mentioned earlier that I'm waiting for. Looks like a bit of fun. Just get it out of the way, you know. Mash it quickly. Still the same type of move. Away from him, you gluttonous goon. Sorry, Scroogey. Not a chance. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, what else have I been looking up? Of course, we gotta get sold five. Of course, can't get past that. So. Well, I was reading the other day that they've mentioned that there's a possibility that. The Xbox One is being released on around the 5th of November. Because they've said that they were going to release, it was going to be one of the launch, release launches. So, see, I can see that being a thing if it was Xbox One exclusive, like saying it's a launch title, but oh, maybe I'm just reading it wrong as in, what the hell? But, um, being a launch title, could it be released beforehand? Probably not. Probably has to be released uh, on 
time. I worked out what I did wrong there. Can I jump up? No. Oh, there has to be something here. Oh. I thought I had to jump up into that corner. Nope. Just jump off the rope. It's all wiggly and stuff. After you climb it. Will you after you climb it? If you don't, it's great. Yeah. But yeah, so. Mm. Just. Oh, health. We still got the same pictures. Yeah, so with that said, then it means that, um, the, what you call it, the Xbox One will be released in the 5th, and if, because, like, you know, th they don't tell each other when they're going to release their consoles, so if Sony finds out and then they think it's true, hopefully, we'll see a PlayStation 4 come out before the Xbox gets released, so hopefully it comes out November 4th or something. That'd be epic. Can't Jeff wait. I'm no, gonna be doing games as soon as they come out as fast as I can. This is a lot of this is a lot of practice for me to get used to it and getting it up and running quicker. So stay true to the channel, subscribe, like, you know, keep it up. And you'll see games as soon as they come out. Well, as soon as I can get them whoopsie. You'll never beat us, Scrooge. Alright, see if we can dodge this laser. When I get the mm -hmm. I'm gonna buy far a new hat. Oh yeah, so can't wait. Uh, release games, I don't know. Let's see Destiny, I wanna play Destiny, but I gotta practice a bit of the shooting on the console. Watch dogs for sure. But a few of these games are open world. So it makes it a bit harder to play them in a let's play. Oh you guys know why. Having an open world game, well, you know, MGS5 is completely different. Uh, it is going to be an open world, but I'm talking about open worlds that... So, like, GT5 is a hard open world to play. Got a lot of stuff going on, different missions. I suppose if I follow the main story, it's doable. But with that said, the main story, you get sidetracked, you're running in and out, and doing... Then in the videos it's a bit hard. Step away from me, fortune, you crook. Uh, 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 not this time, McDuck. Oh, you ain't getting the drop on this big old boy. Not first boss looks like. Same as you for. Ah. Serious? Your safe is securely suspended, sir. Ah. Messing up all this timing. Do be careful or you'll scuff the floor. Get hit one more time. Come on, be the last hit. How many times? Oh, are you serious? Come on. Oh, this isn't too bad. You stay all the way back. Maybe I was turned too close before. Shoot myself in. Man, it's got times are perfect. When I land back down. Oh, sweet. Riddance to bad beagles, I say. Now, why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys. What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. 
Oh, here we go. So, that was just a start. Wow, that was a start. Brigadoon! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Look! One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon. And there's okay, another so here we go. one now in Transylvania. And one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screwy. This last treasure can't be right. It's on the moon. Yeah, there's no mountain on Earth that's that high. Well, according to the Junior Woodchuck's guidebook, to get there we'd have to take about 537 million steps straight up till we reach the moon. You mean the moon moon? It looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. 